Hello, beautiful people. Uh, I am late. And I wanted to come clean that I'm late and I wanted to connect with you guys um, because we're going to have a different conversation today. And I thought I would, um, yeah, I would open it up and see who was here. So uh, I'm going to wait just a second, um, well, 30, to make sure that um, you guys are here. And in the meantime, this is the reason I was late. Who else goes and gets their hair done like once a year? Uh, that would be me. I get my hair done once a year and I figured this time I would embrace a couple of different things. Um, all right, let me have a look. They have changed the Facebook side of things here so you guys might be talking to me and I can't tell. So let me just log that in. Uh, hopefully we're all having an amazing day, everybody. And checking it out, Entrepreneur Hub, and we all good? Oh, we got four people. Might be a few more. All righty, and we're live. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, say hello if you are there, because I would love to. Um, I'd love to speak to you. All right. Say hi. I would love to talk to you, whoever is there. Um, oh, Carly. Hey, Carly. Hey, Nick. Awesome. Uh, so today I wanted to check in and talk to you guys about fear. Hey, Amy. Um, and instead of talking about that one thing, which I can do any time, uh, I want to talk about fear because it's coming up in the the club it's coming up in uh, the hub and it always comes up as we are human hey Natasha nice to see you and um, it is a particularly interesting one when we think about it as to what we would love to see for our business and what might not be happening in our business or what we'd love to see in our lives and what might not be happening in our lives because usually there's something holding you back. And um, from what I've noticed and what the conversations we've been having in the club, there is a lot of fear around, right? What are, what are some of your biggest fears? Hey, Erica. Awesome, Nick. It would be <laughs> very cool to have you uh, staying here. Check it out. One side here. That's a bit scary under there. And look! <gasps> Talk about fear, hey? So, um, yeah, what's one of your biggest fears? Hey, Miriam, nice to see you. So um, what's one of your biggest fears? I absolutely had um, one of my biggest fears is around uh, being seen and being judged. So who else has a fear of being seen and being judged? Oh, I like that one, Nick. Fear of I don't know enough. What else? A fear of I don't know enough. I'm not confident enough. I don't have enough experience. Um, I'm not uh, techy enough. I'm not uh, hip enough. I'm not known enough. I'm not um, what else? What else is out there? Let's just bring them all up to the surface because all of these things hide behind the scenes and nobody talks about them. Yet all the time they're there. It's like having a big fat elephant in the room and not saying a thing and then expecting everybody to just go along with the door. So uh, not knowing enough, awesome, Amy. Yes, Carly and Natasha. Yes, being seen and talked about negatively. Yeah, judged, right? Talked about negatively. Yep. So um, totally. And this comes up all the time. And the beauty of, um, of this is that we, once we can see it and speak about it for what it is, instead of pretending that it's not there, it allows other people to notice that they're not alone because we are all human and we all fear. 
we are all human and we all judge and we are all being judged by ourselves generally in our heads. So uh, in the process of understanding your fears and seeing what they are and outing them for what they are, it's a bit like shining a light on the dark bits. Now, I was listening to an amazing uh, interview the other day with Tim Ferriss. Tim Ferriss is the uh, the creator of The 4-Hour Workweek. He's written a whole bunch of other books. Um, I didn't particularly like his last book, to be honest, but um, he has a really interesting take on fear. Uh, so this is a dude that's done all sorts of crazy, crazy stuff with his body. Um, and again, that's me judging the craziness of, it, of his choices to do with his body. But the um, the fear factor he talks about as um, how much risk, like what is the risk and what's the real true risk of um, your fear? Because fear is just a risk and whether you take that risk or not and what's on the other side of that. And so risk, uh, and I'm paraphrasing because I can't quite remember, uh, his, his description of it was, um, doing something where there is an irreversible negative consequence. An irreversible negative consequence. And when you start to look at our fears, and you start to look at the things that we are so worried about, is there, um, a way to reverse it or buffer it and negate it? Is there a way to turn it around into a positive? And, it, and is a consequence always something that is, um, it, it, it's, is it a consequence as in a bad thing or is it a consequence as in a result? Hey, Louise, nice to see you. Um, and Chanel, hey. So when it comes to the, the things that you fear the most, the things that you fear about, uh, fear, like, for instance, this hair, the whole process to get to this is me leaning into fear. And he talks about just the same as we set goals, we have a fear setting. So how can we set for our fears versus how can we set for our goals? So at the same time as we're goal setting for next year and it's all very exciting and we can create these big sky thinking ideas about what we want to create and how we want to contribute in the world and all these people that we are, are able to um, help and able to be present for and able to use all of our knowledge with, all of that is amazing and yet we stop ourselves. We don't do the things that we've been told by lots of different places, either on the internet, by business coaches, by friends, by family, by watching things like this, and we stop. And we don't go out in front of those people that we could potentially help because of a fear. And for me, one of my big fears was being visible. Ha, weird, hey, I'm here uh, uh, every day of the week in the hub. I'm uh, running webinars once a week. I'm doing um, the club with 58 amazing, incredible women who are just pff, busting through so much stuff. It's amazing, right? But absolutely my fear of being seen and heard is, is ever present. It's like this big elephant in the room. And what I notice with mentees that I have, their fear of um, lacking confidence, lacking um, the skills to put things into the right words, lacking uh, enough knowledge. And trust me, you guys, if you've just come out, you've got the freshest knowledge out of everybody. There is no way you don't know enough. You have so much in there, so much more than, and the, the freshest, most up-to-date stuff than any of us who have been in it for such a long time. So having these things in the background, and the same with me, having that fear of being seen and heard in the background, that there is a chance to lean into that fear because is there a negative, an irreversible negative consequence? So my fear of being seen and my fear of being heard is actually what pushes me to show up every week to talk to you guys, to share what I know, irrelevant of what I look like, because being seen for um, what whatever I look like 
hence this, and to lean into that, whoo, it's pretty hefty. It is, it is fairly intense to be able to, um, feel the fear and lean in and do it anyway. Because what that does is it sets up a new, so w once you get a goal, it like sets up a new baseline for your ability to achieve goals, right? So all of a sudden you can do this and then you're able to achieve that goal. And of course, you're then able to achieve the next one. Oh, I'm going to see um, one person a week. Awesome. I'm going to see two people a week. Oh, I'm going to see four people a week. Oh, I'm going to see eight people a week. And when we get to that stage, it sets up a new baseline. The thing about fear is that it also sets up a new baseline. Where is our comfort zone that when we can push it a little, we actually have the opportunity to set up a new baseline. So the first time I did a Facebook Live, oh, and it's happening in the club right now. Everybody's doing their Facebook Live. Thank you guys who are all in the club saying hello. Um, putting, pressing the button, and all it is essentially is pressing the button to go live and then say something live and then pressing the stop button. That particular process all sorts of things come up. But the second people do it in the club, and it's a regular thing in the club, it becomes a new setting. It becomes a new fear setting. There is a new space that is created on the other side of you leaning into it. Right now, there is a new space being created for me showing up 10 minutes late, which I don't like doing, because I get this craziness haircut, and being able to move forward into that space because that that allows something new to come on the other side so so um what have we got here everybody's having a, a beautiful thing going on here okay uh jackie uh saying hello to everybody beautiful um katie you are totally leaning in right now and i am so so um inspired by your commitment and what's on the other side of this for you? Uh, Katie is doing an incredible job at uh, helping women with burnout through a workshop. And she's doing an extraordinary thing to lean into her fear at the moment. And all the other fears that come up at the same time, right? So the fear with the hair thing, it comes up with being visible. It comes up with um, judgment. It comes up all the other little bits and pieces. They come up from the past. All to be noticed and looked at and then go, okay, yep. I got that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right now, I'm okay. I know that there's a safety mechanism happening here. I can move it to the side and continue through and see what else I can feel on the other side of that comfort zone. So Kelly is doing epic. Uh, Louise, I have difficulty putting my thoughts uh, into words and uh, what I know into the right words. Totally. Who else has that fear? You are not alone. Even now, while I'm talking to you, the same thing happens to me. It just goes on in the back there and I go, yep, thank you. And then I keep going and doing what I know to be true for me. So I totally hear you there. Chanel, uh, what happens if I screw up? <sighs> My goodness, what happens if I screw up? What happens if you screw up? What happens with this hair if I screw up? So let's think about it. What's actually happening here? Okay, I can get a haircut. All right. What happens if that doesn't work out? What happens if I get judged? So the thing is you go through all the different processes. What if I get judged? What if everyone thinks um, that X, Y, or Z? What if um, I can't turn, what if I can't, what if it's irreversible? What if I screw up? What if it looks really bad? What if, what if, what if? If you get all of those what ifs and then you go into the reversible mode. Okay, how could I switch that around? Okay, so what if I screwed up? Well, it would be the biggest lesson ever. What if it looks really bad? I know, I could get it cut again. <laughs> what if, oh, well, I could just, it will grow back. Okay, what if, well, what if somebody judges me? Well, it's very likely to do with them and not actually me. And my judgment of their judgment is probably more of the issue for me because I have nothing to do and it's none of my business about their judgment. So can you see, as you start to notice the things that come up, if you take a moment to see them for what they are, 
Apart from death, the risks that we take are generally not things that are, aren't reversible or um, buffered in some way. And so particularly for those people who are fearing something in their business, particularly for people who are fearing about going online or telling somebody about the most incredible workshop that you have or your ne- your ebook that you lovingly created or, you know, you were so in it to actually create it, but you put a lot of time and effort that probably took you away from your family, that probably took you away from um, potentially seeing clients. With those things, sharing them, sharing them and having the fear that someone will judge you for that is stopping you from being able to get your message out. It's stopping you from being able to help people. And if you can lean into it and pop that one email out or pop that one post out, at some point you'll be able to lean into something even bigger. But on the other side, you can't tell what's going to be on the other side of it. So right now I can't tell what's going to be on the other side of this webinar. right? But I am leaning into it and doing it anyway. Everything that you're doing currently in your business, you will come up against something and generally it will come from a fear. If you can notice that fear and that there is, uh, is the chance that you can do something about that or you can lean into it. And if you're anything like me, you can lean right on in and go really hard at it because in the end, you are extraordinary. You on the inside that you know you are to be are absolutely lovable. In that moment when you're doing that thing, you are absolutely 100% whole and complete in that moment. And all those other little bits and pieces around the outside there don't change that for a second. You pressing the live button doesn't make you whatever you think it's making you. It means that you are showing up for you, for your business, for that moment, for the people that you're trying to help. In that moment, you are being the you that you probably always knew yourself to be, but the little fears and all the other bits and pieces that we get along the way, that we pick up from when we're a kid, that we pick up from when we're at college, that we pick up from our mums and dads, and with all best meanings and intentions that these people have given it to us, and we take it on board, and we have all of that just crackling on the outside and it's about crackling that back and seeing if you can lean into radiating for the best you that you can show up to be because you are in there perfect whole and complete and absolutely lovable so what is um, the thing for you that you know you need to lean into in your business so for me It's about being visible. So what did I do? I went hardcore visible and now I'm going to be visible everywhere. My mother-in-law has to see this and she hasn't seen it yet. You guys are like literally the first ones because I just came straight from the hairdressers (laughs) to talk to you guys, right? So what is it that you can lean into and you could lean into in your way? Now I go a bit, you know, Uh, Because I really want to feel what this feels like on the other side of this, you know, Christmas morning when all of my family members are going to see this, this is going to be interesting, right? And on the other side of that, the bubbles and the wobbles that that makes me feel, there's something else on the other side of that about being visible that if I can be visible in front of there and I can be visible in front of you guys and I can be visible, then what's the possibilities for not You know, it's my big dream to help 7,000 of you guys, 7,000. So you guys can get 7,000 clients, which helps 49 million people on the world to get the health that they need to live the lives that they need to. And if I can't be visible in that, then I'm not going to quite get to see those 7,000 people, am I? So what is it for you? Where are you leaning into? Now, don't just say that this is a nice idea. Thank you. I really appreciate this is a nice idea and how wonderful it is and and how lovely you think my haircut is. Thank you. (laughs) But what are you actually doing? So I actually went and got a do, doing, in the doing. I took the action to feel that fear and see what comes up and notice that actually wasn't anything to be fearful of in the first place, especially with your beautiful 
um, are your beautiful comments. But what is it that you need to do? What is the doing? What's the action? Uh, because all this is very nice ideas. We're so used to being students and taking on, on board all of this more knowledge and more ideas and more knowledge and more ideas. But how can you show up to help the people that you're here to help? What's the thing in your business right now that you need to do? So Chanel, yes, I'm doing an expo on the weekend, getting visible too and getting visible as a mama, Chanel. I love it. Um, beautiful. Who else is, what else? So we had other fears of being confident. What would it take? What would it look like for you? What action do you need to take to feel more confident? Not what, not what more knowledge do you need to get or more ideas or any of that. What action can you take to lean into feeling more confident? And trust me, from experience, it is literally experience. It is you showing up in front of another person and gaining the confidence to keep going. Um, Michelle. Uh, I'm used to doing videos, but webinars is a new scary thing for me. Awesome. So, Michelle, what would it feel like if you set a date for a webinar and we would love to watch your webinar and see what it's about? That would be cool. That would be fantastic. Awesome. Well done, Michelle. Nice actionable step. Nick, being interviewed tomorrow. Oh, yes, that's right. And next week as well, two interviews, and it scares the crap out of me. But... I will learn along the way and leaning in. I love that, Nick. Well done. Yeah. So um, if for you it might be looking at your numbers, uh, maybe you haven't looked at your numbers and you've got all of all of your receipts like I used to have in a, in a file in a hidden part of the house or you might have them just literally everywhere and you haven't looked at them. What about that? What could you do to lean into that? Uh, Chelsea, asking for client testimonials um, also also always gives you confidence. Yeah, I'd agree completely. Um, you don't have to use those testimonials anywhere so that we don't get into a big testimonial conversation. But to get feedback on what you do, uh, we, sent, we used to send out an automated email because then I wouldn't have to ask, right? So you can, you can tweak these things so that they can be in alignment with you. So we used to send out an automated email that after every single client came, we would send out an email saying, um, we hope you had another great experience at Inspirational Health. Uh, we are committed to um, uh, ongoing, um, oh, there's a term for it and I'm a little bit confused right now, uh, ongoing continuous, uh, continuous improvement and we would love if you could um, uh, give us some feedback and nearly 90% of the time it was oh my goodness Tammy was an amazing practitioner oh my goodness um, the other practitioner that I had today was extraordinary and as always I feel empowered I feel hopeful I feel whatever it happens to be and then the other 10% of the time it was something like you know it'd be great to have fresh tea as we walk in the door oh I love the massage chair would we be able to get a pillow to go with it how about we get a kid's corner? There was amazing things like that. So from a confidence building perspective, if you ask everybody that you see, and don't just assume in your head what's going on, ask everybody that you see to give you that feedback. And you can do it my sneaky way by sending them an automated email after the end of it as well. So yeah, great, um, great point, Chelsea. Love it. Kath, I need to lean into, um, I do have something uh, to offer. Yeah. And what I offer is valuable. Yeah. Actionable step. Offer up even if I'm not sure that what I say resonates with them and don't hang back. I love that, Kaz. Yes. So um, I personally, and um, and I know that a couple of mentees have done it before, when people say, oh, you know, you, you meet them in, in the markets or in an elevator or something like that, and people go, oh, well, I've, um, what do you do? Oh, well, I help people with their, their stress. All oh, right. Um, oh, I've got a whole stress, our entire crew up on level four. It's, they're really stressed all the time. And you just go, oh, yeah. Now, I've done that before, and I bet some of you guys have done that before. Or, um, you know, I help with um, female, you know, I help with menopause. Oh, my mum's got menopause. Oh, yeah. 
And you have this opportunity. Maybe you're in um, in the chemist and you've seen somebody who's having a really hard time picking vitamins and minerals. Maybe you're at um, fruit and vegetable section and they're having a hard time wondering how they could cook something. And you don't offer up. You don't lean into the offer. Yes, they could look like it, look at you like you have two heads, but you won't die from it. And it's reversible. They're never going to see you again. Same with the hair. You know, you guys might look like oh, I've got two heads, whatever it happens to be. But it's totally, if you are in your truth and you have that value to offer, offer that value however it shows up for you. And that's what I'm doing today, hopefully leading by example, that you can absolutely, I, I love that, Kat, that you have so much value and it's time for you to offer that value in whatever way that is coming up for you. And leaning in. All right. So hopefully you guys got um, something out of this. I would love to see your actionable steps. Um, maybe uh, if you can, put the actionable steps down below. If you were watching this on a webinar replay or something similar, please email me at hello at TammyGuest.com. Keep yourself accountable and lean in, you know, show up. This is me keeping myself accountable for moving forward in a way that hopefully uh, creates whatever it creates on the other side of it for me and um, creates, at least for me, a learning and um, a feeling that leads me to that visibility that I have been um, goal setting for and fear setting for. So uh, I would love for you guys to uh, pop your actionable step down below, your fear and your actionable step if you are watching this on replay. I'd love, 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 love to see it. And I will catch you next week. Uh, for that one thing. We'll do it next week. We won't do it today. All right. Have an amazing day. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See ya.